Today we'll take a look at the Mainuo M8811 power supply, which Mainuo refers to as a source meter. Let's take a look at that claim and look for any issues such as a power-up spike on the outputs. Martin has done a review of the Mainuo 8800 series, which I will link to in the comments. This video is to test a few specific features and problems of these power supplies. The Mainuo is supposed to be capable of delivering up to 5 amps, so we've got it set to 5.1, which is its its maximum. On the the load is on. We are currently set to measure the output voltage at the terminals on the power supply. We are not attempting to measure the losses in the cables connecting to the load. We're just testing the dropout voltages on the power supply itself. We're at 1.2, 2 amps. The voltage is steady, 9989 and 4, yep, 4.994, so not bad. We're losing just a few millivolts, probably through right through here on the connectors. And as we close in on 5 volts, 4, 5 amps, 4.8. 4.9, 5 amps, we're still in constant voltage mode and holding a steady 4987, so pretty good regulation still there. Let's, uh, let's jump up just slightly on the amperage. We're at 509, 5.1, we've gone into constant current, so I'd say that's pretty good. Now let's measure the losses uh, through the green and yellow cables going out to the loads. Alright, so you can see that due to the resistance of the wire, we do really begin to lose voltage quite quickly. And at five, at a straight 5 amps, we're already down to uh, 4.872 volts on that. This power supply is also capable of four wire reading so it can compensate for that there's a set of terminals on the back in which uh, can be connected out to the load so let's try that all right with it all connected up let's turn on the uh, the output is now on we're reading a nice solid five volts the load is off we'll turn the load on and see what we get hey look at that it's really it's struggling a bit. It takes a moment, but it does kick right back to five and four zero. It's reading. This is reading back the voltage going out on these terminals. Four point nine amps. We're still reading almost exactly five volts. One more. Yep, maintaining. To do that, to get four point nine 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 seven, we're getting five point one two eight eight on the output terminals. So the four-wire uh, remote sense works uh, really pretty well. Let's do one more quick test. Let's see, uh, statistics-wise, how we do when the load is turned on and off rapidly and repeatedly, and if the four-wire capability keeps up. Now we're starting up. Let's turn on the load at 5 amps. My cycling it rapidly let's see maintaining an average of certainly five and three zeros however minimum drop down to eight point four nine which isn't bad the maximum is has reached five point four three eight two volts so it's overshot a little bit by uh, nearly half a volt trying to uh, surge current out to the load for 5 amps. Same test but at a more modest 1 amp load. So we're getting about, and now we're here at uh, 29 millivolts overshoot, 29 undershoot. That's probably pretty good for a 1 amp swing. For this next set of tests, we're going to need an additional piece of equipment. In this case, a Fluke 3330B calibrator. Now, we don't get this thing out too much. Uh, at least not off of its place on the shelf, for uh, the obvious reason, two-man lift. Now it's time to test the DVM capabilities of the Menuo source meter. Here's the test setup. 
to limit the noise, we're using uh, Banana Jack to BNC, which with as limited lengths of BNC as I had available to each of the devices. That should hold the noise down. With the inputs shorted, the Manuel is reading about 100 microvolts, and the Agilent is reading uh, between 0 and 1 microvolt. Let's connect it up. Still reading 100 microvolts on the Menuo. Let's crank that up by 100 microvolts and see if it responds. Two. Yep, it does respond. It's a little slow. Great. Let's now test it at the 100. Or sorry, 1 millivolt, 10 millivolt, 100 millivolt, 1 volt. Agilent's reading 1.110994 or 994, 1.01107. So we're just a little bit low on the main OO, but not too bad. Let's change voltage ranges. Let's try simple 5 volt. 4 triple 9 pretty good. 10 volts. pretty close. 20 volts right on the back. Pretty close. We're off by two and a half or so uh, mill, uh, millivolts. And here we are at 30 volts. Mm, we're off just a little bit further. But not bad. Again, probably well within spec. I'd have to check that. A while back I was using the Mainuo to power this breadboarded project. Everything was working well one evening, but when I came back to it the next day, things just weren't working quite right. After some messing about, I determined that the microcontroller was partially fried. So I got out the heat gun, removed and replaced the chip. The board didn't want to reflow the new chip properly, so uh, the solder job is a mess, but at least it's all working again. I wasn't sure what had happened, but I suspected the power supply so I stopped using it until I could run some tests. Let's take a look at what happens at the outputs when we switch the unit on or off. We have a 1K resistor connected as a simple load to, for a small 3 milliamp current draw. The scope is set up at 5 volts per division, 1 microsecond. And we'll go into single shot. Load it. The power supply output is on. Now let's turn it off at the hard switch and see what we get. And here we go. Uh, we're off the scale, but given that it's uh, 5 volts per division, we're probably getting a 40 volt peak to peak here. And across here, just constant, constant ringing. Um, I think that is kind of an unacceptable output and would certainly explain frying any chips that were uh, connected to it, I would think. All right, we have a 1K resistor hooked up as a simple load. And let's see what the spikes look like. Whoa. Uh, we have exceeded the threshold, so we're looking at beyond 40 volts peak to peak. And that's with a 1K resistor connected across the outputs. Output was off. All we did was turn the Mainuo on, and that, and that caused it. Let's try it again. And it isn't that the problem doesn't occur in a bad, really bad way every single time, but it can occur fairly often. And so oh, there's a bad power up. This is a 40 volt power on spike. We're currently set at 5 volts per division over 20 microseconds. This is a fairly long spike. You can see that it, it uh, is beyond 40 microseconds and various other little spikes along the way. Glad I'm not running a microcontroller plugged into it right now. So now that the power supply is back in its place on the bench, uh, would I continue to use it to uh, power one of my projects? Sure. It's a convenient size. It's got a lot of features. Pretty accurate. But before I uh, press this button, I'm always going to pull that plug.